Hello, it's Denise running away from home. <laughs> I spent way too long last night trying to figure out why I had lost my camera. But lost my camera I had. It says, we can't find your camera. I had to do a whole bunch of things to try to find it and fix it. But I did it. Yay! Unfortunately, though, I don't remember how I fixed it. Anyway. Having a rough couple of days here. Got this pain in my left leg, which is the good leg. <laughs> the right knee had surgery on it back in 1986, 87. In 1987. And it was quite an extensive surgery. Because I tore my ACL playing volleyball. Let's not even go there. Back when I was a young woman. And I was in nursing school. And um, 87 is also the year I took my boards last year that they gave a number score to nursing students who took their boards. After that, it became pass-fail. And I was quite proud of the fact that I got the number 671 sticks in my head. I don't know why. Anyway, it was good enough for me to pass. Um... Lisa was here this morning, gave me my shower. She literally gave me my shower today because my knee is so bad. I've been taking morphine and Ativan for it, which helps a bit. And then I discovered <laughs> ibuprofen. I take three ibuprofen and it works for about four hours. And while the pain is still bad, it doesn't feel as if I'm going to fall down, which is what it was feeling like before. Um, I love this new computer. Thank you, Christopher. Thank you so much. Um, trying to think of what else is new here. Jason came over last night with a bunch of pictures that were my mother's that were left with Dennis, my brother, who passed, his his ex-wife and his son. Beautiful pictures. My parents and my grandparents. Jason picked up this picture and said, Mom, who is this? I said, that is my Grandma Lemon. It was good to see her face. It was good to see her face. Pictures of my Grandma Bernard in her casket. She died in her 90s. She was ready to go. And I know she is with God. And she is with me. Um, I feel like time is getting rather short. <laughs> Which is comforting and terrifyingly Frightening at the same time. Am I ready to go? My body is ready to go. Is my mind ready to go? Not so much. Yes, I'm smoking. So, you know, you tarot readers and mediums, I watch you. Upstairs, when I'm upstairs, sitting on my bed, and I'm not able to. I watch it. I watch you on television <laughs> because I've got all the streaming services and YouTube is on there, and uh, I can't comment from the television, which is a good thing because I find more and more often that I'm annoying myself when I'm talking so much in chat. 
But hey, in one of the chats I gave a safe word. If you find me getting annoying, just say measles and I'll shut up. Nobody did it. But then they kind of ignored me, which I said to her, you could just ignore me and it will work just as well. Um, still getting comfortable with doing these, but it's so nice to be able to just, whenever I want, to make a video for my kids to see. I like it. I like it a lot. Bruce is in Big Rapids, about 25 miles north of here, buying totes because I'm going to start getting really serious about packing up stuff, especially the electronics because Bruce has just really got his, himself all in a tizzy about what are you going to do with, what should we do with all this electronic stuff and it doesn't matter how often I tell him. The boys are in charge of my things, Bruce. You don't have to worry about anything. He just doesn't feel secure with that. Anything, boys, anything in the household goods, except for my um, recipe box. That will go to Jason until he's ready to pass it on to Gracie. Um, because it should go to Grace after you, Jason. Still no word back from Cece about laundry. Gotta get laundry done. Um, Lisa is going on vacation on Friday, and so I won't have her here to help me with my shower. So I won't be taking a shower, so I did make sure I was extra clean today. <laughs> Which is funny. Everything is funny today, except for the pain across the back of my shoulders and my left leg. Excuse me. So, that's what's going on here. Oh, and I slept. I could not get to sleep last night, but when I finally did go to sleep, I did not want to wake up. I woke up at 20 minutes to 10. Lisa gets here at 10, so I had to do real quick and take my medicines and, you know, the daily medicines, the prednisone, the Coreg, the lisinopril, the amlodipine, the blood pressure, glufenicin, which is the generic name for mucinex. Um, and then before I took my shower, I took five milligrams of morphine, which helped a bit. But still, I had to have Lisa's help. I was able to wash my hair to get it lathered, and she rinsed it. She washed my back, which felt so good. I love being clean. I hate being dirty. And that I think is the hardest part about the COPD is that, you know, you there are things that I, I'm used to doing that I want to do. One of them being laundry. Doing laundry is getting beyond me now. Carrying the laundry basket from my room into the washroom. I wish Cece would call. I will pay you, Cece. I will pay you to do my laundry. Death is easy. Death is stepping through a doorway. The dying part is what's hard. But I am grateful to still be alive today. I wish I couldn't, I wish I was not alive today. This would be over. Whatever. I don't want to have a day today. And I keep saying no whining, Denise, no whining. I should be saying no smoking, Denise. 
No smoking. And every time I see somebody smoking on YouTube, I just want to say, Stop! While well, you still can. Before it takes away your ability to move about independently. And I'm really, really caught up in this giraffe that's going to be giving birth soon. The giraffe's name is Bailey. It's a Cheyenne Mountain Zoo. They got cameras on and everything. Sometimes watching that just makes me feel so restful, so peaceful. Um, has anybody seen Claire Chabon? She hasn't posted anything in a while. I hope she's okay. She's pregnant. I have a feeling Bruce is coming home soon. He comes home and then he hears me talk and he thinks I'm, I'm crazy, but we already know I am. Just having a day. But I don't want to. Jason came over and brought all those pictures. We had a good time looking through them. He had a wonderful time with his Uncle Jimmy. They had a wonderful time from the sounds of it. I'm so glad. I love my family. I love my boys. I love my grandchildren. I love my great granddaughter. I love the people who give so generously to making me feel better. I am so grateful for Bruce. I'm so grateful for everything. Thank you, God, for everything. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Get what you get with me. Anyway, so now that I've got the camera back working and I can make these videos for the boys and for the great greats who will come after me which is probably more important to me than to them. They don't even know me yet. Anyway, seeing pictures of both of my grandmas, I just want to be a grandma like they were. Just love, just love. Nothing but love. So it's a short one today, but I'm, I'm alive. Made it through another night. Hope you have a great day, evening, wherever you are. Bye.